The Drunk Dad's Diaries. The Drunk Dad's Diaries. You're a fucking diary. Fuck off. Drunk Dad's Diaries. The Drunk Dad's Diaries. Yo, Daz Blitz here. And as you can see, I'm filming from space. And what am I going to talk about today? Well, the answer to that is what culture pro wrestling? I do like what culture in general. I watch a lot of the different videos and blah 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 blah. Like King Cross! <laughs> it's fucking funny with his WTF moments and all that. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, but yeah, what culture started their own pro wrestling promotion called WCPW, What Culture Pro Wrestling. And a few times I've tried to watch. Uh, I think it's a weekly show they do, um, streaming it live on YouTube, and about four or five times now, I've been trying to watch it on a Saturday evening, and every time, it is literally every single time, partway through, The stream fucks up and it becomes unwatchable and you know you can retry it you can quit it go back in try again blah 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 but nothing makes a difference that's it once the stream's fucked up like that then there's pretty much no coming back from that so today this evening about must have been about an hour ago, maybe two, the live stream was starting, so I put it on, sat down, and started watching it. It was going alright until the last match was on. That's when it fucked up. Tried again a few times, and every time, same shit. It was completely and utterly unwatchable, so in the end, I gave up. When it was working properly and I was watching it, there was over 1,500 viewers at that time. But then when the stream went off fuckity by, every time I was retrying, the number of viewers was getting lower. By the time I gave up, there was less than 400 viewers left. So, obviously the streaming issues are losing them a lot of viewers. Which is, I imagine, probably something they don't want. So, my advice to what culture and what culture pro wrestling in general would be you need to make some improvements on your streaming. Because if it's unwatchable, as I saw today, if it's unwatchable, your viewers are just going to drop faster than fucking, I don't even know what. I'm not just fucking bashing what culture or WCPW here. There is good things to say. I do actually like what they're trying to do with WCPW. It is it is entertaining to watch, even though the actual wrestling itself isn't that good, to be honest. But they haven't been going long, so I imagine over time it probably will improve. But even though like the wrestling isn't great, the storylines are better than what their actual wrestling is, to be honest, in my opinion. That part of WCPW is actually very good. They also have like big well known wrestlers on the show sometimes, like they recently had Kurt Angle on there. Yeah, the real Kurt Angle, you know. Do -do -do -do. I'm an Olympic hero. You suck. You suck. Dude. Anyway, yeah, and they've had Brett the Hitman Hart's been on it. I know, um, what's his fucking name? WCW guy from back in the day. I can't believe his name's just fucking disappeared out of my head. He was like the boss of WCW.
I know he's not a wrestler, but he was a big part of the wrestling business. It is still annoying, man. I can't remember his fucking name. <laughs> Eric Bischoff, that's the one. Cody Rhodes has been on it. Probably a few others as well. Damien Sandow, is that his name? Something like that. He's on there. And, oh yeah, Alberto Del Rio, who was up until recently in the WWE. And I don't think he's called Alberto Del Rio now. He's called something like Alberto Del Patreon, something like that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, in real life, he's his girlfriend is Paige, who is still under contract with WWE. She's been suspended again very recently after her first suspension ended for violating the wellness policy, apparently. There's loads of drama behind her, what actually went on or didn't go on and blah, 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 blah. And I'm not going into that because I just can't be asked. But yeah, bottom line is... That's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Bottom line is... That, yeah, Paige was suspended again for violating the wellness policy. This time, because it was her second offence, 60 days she's suspended for. And, you know, I, I don't know. There's loads of drama about it and what might have happened, what might not have happened, what did happen, she said, he said, blah, 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 blah. If you want to know about all of that, just fucking... Look on the interwebs, it's all there. When WWE has a wrestler, unless he's a jobber, if he's like somebody that's on WWE stuff a lot, then he will have a contract, he or she will have a contract with WWE, and in that contract it'll say that they're not allowed to go and wrestle somewhere else while they're working for WWE. So that's where Paige is at the moment. She might be able to negotiate a way out of that contract like her real life boyfriend Alberto Del Rio did. But she might not. She might just have to wait for it to run out. But in the short period of time, it's probably only like a month or two between Paige's first two sus two suspensions. In the gap between the two, she wasn't even on WWE TV at all. Like, not on SmackDown, not on Raw, not on fucking pay-per-views, not on, not on anything. She just wasn't there. If you look into a load of the backstage fucking dramas and shit, I don't think Paige is happy with working for WWE anymore. Just like a real life boyfriend, Alberto Del Rio, or the patron, whatever he's calling himself, you know. I think she probably feels pretty, mu pretty much very similar to how he does. And uh, he managed to negotiate his way out of the contract with WWE, and now he's on WCPW, so. With Paige being a wrestler and his real life girlfriend, I think that if Paige can get out of a WWE contract or wait till it ends and then not try and renew it, then if that happens, if that can happen, then I fucking bet you Paige will be on WCPW. She's obviously been seen backstage at their shows when her boyfriend's been there because, you know, she's there. She likes wrestling, clearly. She's been wrestling for years, blah, 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 blah. Her boyfriend's wrestling on this show. She's going to go and go and watch him, isn't she, obviously. So, you know, she's been seen there. But she can't wrestle for him while she's under contract with WWE. But... Mark my words. When Paige gets out of a contract, I fucking bet you 
she'll show up on WCPW. And that, it will be good because uh, Paige has quite a big following. And she's actually a decent wrestler. She is also attractive. But she's not just attractive. She actually can wrestle as well. So if she can go over to WCPW and whatever other wrestling promotions that she might like to go to, that that should bring in some some more following for WCPW and more following means like means like more viewers, more subscribers and that boils down to more money for WCPW and in the end, you know, if they can make a bit more money, I don't know how much money they're making now, but obviously if they can make more money, they would like to do that, I should imagine, being a business. Back my words. Sometime in 2017, Paige will be on WCPW. Mark my words. Anyway, that's about all I have to say for now. So, I've been Daz Blitz. You've been whoever the fuck you are watching my space wrestling video. And yeah, I'll see you later. I'm not saying I could do better at wrestling, but you know what? I probably could do better at wrestling than a lot of them because I've done MMA in real life for quite some time and I've been watching wrestling for most of my life so you know I'm sure I could put those two different things together and be a pretty good pro wrestler